All right, gold member. Don't play the laughing boy. <laughs> there are only two things I can't stand in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch. What? Okay, a tribute to Dutch director Jan de Mont and friend of the channel. The Dutch film buff. He's always there for me when I need him. So, apart from when I'm playing uh, video games, but then, there we go. We shall start with his directorial debut, Speed. Uh, one of the biggest films. Jan de Mont uh, started off as a uh, director of photography, and he did a lot of stuff like Die Hard and stuff like that, and then he did his own directorial debut, Speed, which as a first director, this is a hell of a film. But he's been in the industry long enough that he knew what he was doing. He obviously learned a lot. So then he did 96's Twister, which is another favourite of mine. Both films are great fun and great entertainment. Unfortunately, then he came back with Speed 2, which obviously no one thought about it when the first one was like something speeding along, but cruise ships aren't that. So, sadly... Keanu wasn't around to save it, but I don't think even he could have done much with that one. And then, unfortunately, also he directed the remake of The Haunting. And the original 60s Haunting is black and white, and it's mostly about suspense. And there's you don't even see anything. It's all psychological and audio. But no, nope, it's a CGI shit fest for the sequel. Remake, sorry. Uh, and then I did the sequel... To Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. Now, while there's plenty to look at in this film, uh, and Gerald Butler makes an appearance in one of his first action films, uh, the whole rest of the film is not that great. But it has a couple of interesting things, but unfortunately that was the last thing he uh, directed, apart from something called Boom and Top of Safari Hunters in 2020, which looks like an a animation. But there we go. Thank you for watching. Thanks for Dutch for supporting the channel so much, and I'll hear us end of the lesson.